four, volume of prisms and cylinders. Volume is the number of cubic units contained in a solid's interior. For example, one we want to find the number find the volume of the solid below, where each of these boxes is one cubic meter. So go ahead, try this on your own first, just think through it, and then we'll talk about it in a minute. All right, for this one, we notice that we could actually count up the boxes. So if we look, we can see that our bottom row is four boxes wide, and two boxes deep. So this bottom row has two rows of four boxes, which means we have eight boxes. Then we realize that, actually let's put the eight over here, there we go. So that bottom row is eight cubic meters. Then we realize that we have <clears throat> four of these rows stacked one on top of another, which means we now have four times eight, which is 32 cubic meters total. In other words, we have length times width times height, four times two times four, which equals 32 cubic meters. The best way to think about volume is to think about finding the area of one of your faces and then multiplying it by how many faces we stack one on top of another. Like we did here, we realized our bottom was composed of eight cubic meters and that we had stacked four of these rows, each being one cubic meter, one meter high, but we had stacked four of these on top of each other. So each of these rows is eight cubic meters. and that gave us the 32 cubic meters total. This brings us to theorem 12.6, the volume of a prism. The volume of a prism is B times H, where B is the area of the base, and H is the height of the prism. So for example, if we had a square prism, we would find the area of the base. Let's say that area is 16 inches squared and multiply it by the area of the height. So the volume of this prism is 16 inches squared times 10 inches, which gives us 160 inches cubed. Essentially, if our base is 16 inches squared and our height is 10 inches, then we can stack 10 of these layers that are each 16 square inches on top of one another. And this is true for anything. We could do this for a triangular prism as well. If we had a triangular prism, we could find the area of the base. If this is 3 and this is 4, then the area is 12 and we'll say meters squared. And then we can multiply by the height. Let's say the height is 9. So the volume would be 12 times 9, which gives us 108 inch, or meters cubed. And this is because if we took these and separated our bases into just stacking them one on top of another, so we'll stack them side by side, There we go. We'll have nine of these triangles that stack to make our solid. And that's why we take 12 times 9, which is 108 meters cubed. Oh, but this area should have been 6. That was my fault. 